while I was sitting there, I was starting to feel doubt. I was starting to feel like, why the hell am I doing this? Am I crazy? Like, you gotta be somewhat delusional. You really do. You gotta be one, not scared to take risks, not scared to lose money, not scared to invest in yourself, but you also have to be freaking delusional. I gotta be, and this is another part, I gotta laugh because I gotta be delusional. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can watch all of my content as soon as i post it so i'm back with another video today is august 27th it's a tuesday i'm back at the shop so in my last video you guys see me um bring stuff into the salon do a little bit of running around pass out flyers put it in people doors so today I am going to, my desk came in, he set my desk up. So today I'm going to go in here. I'm going to set up my tripod so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to set up my, um, what is this? I'm going to clean my desk off and put some things on my desk. I'm going to set up my pedicure cart, get some content with that. And I'm going to, well, I'm going to build my pedicure cart and then set my pedicure cart up, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to um, just do like little small things. I don't plan to be on, be here all night because I worked all day. I am tired, but I'm pushing through because I'm opening on Saturday and everything has to be together, perfect and right. So I'm about to go in now. Here we go. Okay guys, so I had to take the audio out. As I previously mentioned before, I am in a shared space and there was somebody else in the salon and it had music playing. I don't want copyright on my YouTube videos, so I did have to just mute the sound and add my own sound. But in the next few clips, you guys are going to see me just cleaning up. You guys are going to see me put together a petty card, putting things away. And I'm also going to be swatching um, some gel polishes.
here I'm showing you guys my nail polish stand, my petty cart put together, and my desk area. And in these next few clips, I am swatching gel polishes and I'm organizing them and labeling them. Just to give you guys an update on my space, give you a little tour. This is the polishes I have. This is my petty cart. Stuff that I'm gonna put in the, it's kinda stuck. Stuff I'm gonna put inside the pedicure bowl, sugar scrub, alcohol flip flops, oil, callus, softener. There's my desk. It's kind of messy now because I'm still setting things up. In my top drawer, I have some more scrub for the hands. This is acetone. Maggots, ma maggots, Jesus, magnets to measure no length. This is for like a bump and shine on an HMO. Tip cutter. And then I have my grabbables inside this. <sighs> Top coat, base coat, clear pink. I just to hold my liquid in my powder. White art line brushes, black scissors, primer. A second one. Like free wipes. All of my new gel polishes. Builder gel, chrome top, chrome base, mint, some more art liner brushes, uh, blooming gel, metallics, metallics, my gold. Um, Julia Dolly. This is my nail powder. This is new. I tried it out. I really like it. Um, Mia Secret. I, I ran low on Mia, Mia Secret. So I had to get the Julia Dolly one. Some nail forms. And here I have my monomer. Um, here is nail files, cotton, and then this is my nail lamp. And down here is my towels, um, 
my fan that goes on my desk, some disinfectant wipes. Over here, acetone, alcohol, spray bottle, stuff to clean my instruments in. Nail tips. Seed bands. Um, pumice sponges, which honestly probably can go in my petty cart. No buffers. Sterilization pouches, labels I used to label the polisher, swatch sticks, mask, and all my spa pedicure products. Um, here is my desk, my no lamp, my moonlight. Here is the pedicure bowl. We have a portable pedicure bowl until we get something more stable. And that's it. That's my little spot. I gotta clean up my mess, but I'm pretty much all, I'm all in right now. Majority of my stuff is here. Following along my journey, you guys know that this week I was moving into my salon space because I'm running out of space in a salon. It is a glam studio, so there are many other different people. We have hair people, we have lash people, we have a massage person there. Um, and now they have a nail person, me. So I'm running out of space there. Um, I have been trying to drum up business. I've promote, been promoting on Instagram. I and just the FYI, I do not have any clientele. I am doing this off a wing and a prayer because a little bit of background of my story and I probably shared it in the last video, but I'm gonna share it again because you you may maybe you didn't watch the last video. A little bit about myself. I had to move home with my mom. Um, it wasn't my fault, things happened, but I had to move home with my mom. So now that I move home with my mom, I have sort of more money, you know, accessible to me every month because I'm not taking care of a whole household. So I decided that I was going to take, I was going to bet on myself and take a chance and take a risk. Um, and I wanted to venture out on myself uh, and get into a salon space and try to really build up my clientele. I have zero clientele. I have nobody that's consistent. I have nobody that's following me. I have nothing. And yet I am in a space where I'm paying for every week. He gives me the first month for free. Um, and after that, I'm gonna to have to start paying every week. And I have zero clientele. The only thing is that, the, the thing is how it is working for me is that I work full time, Monday through Friday, and I pay for that. I pay for my salon space out my full time check. And I work in my salon space Saturday to Sunday. I am hoping that I can build up clientele, consistent clientele on the weekend so that it can start paying for itself for one. And for two, I can start cutting. Sorry, y'all, I'm outside. For two, I can start cutting out time from the salon that I'm actually employed at and add more time into my salon space. So I gotta go hard. So this is why I am taking you guys with me. I am documenting everything because I want I want other people to see what I'm doing and I want to remember this when I make it. <laughs> so I'm documenting every single thing, every step of the way, every hardship. Um, today was my official open day, my first day, my first Saturday, and I had no clients, none. Um, I guess this is not really such a big surprise because I don't have clientele. Um, I've reached out to old clients that in previous shop that used to come to me regularly. I reached out to them and you know, people, a lot of people, sometimes they're not loyal to you. They're loyal to the location. Um, they said they was going to, oh yeah, I'll, I'll make an appointment, but you know, people talk and they never do. Um, so there's that, there's the few people that I've actually reached out to that used to come to me when I worked at other salons, but we'll see if they actually come or not. Um, but yeah, so no surprise, my first day, I don't have any clients. 
So what I did today was I organized my polishes. I labeled everything. I put things away in my drawer, kind of like organized more in my area. Um, just getting things done, getting things, you know, together because I'm preparing to have clients and to be busy. And I did document a few things while I was in there to show you guys what I was doing. I want to tell you about emotionally how I felt today. So when I first got there, one of the hair, the hair girl and the lash girl was there. One of the hair girls, the lash girl, she's in the back. She's secluded from us, kind of, sort of. But the lash girl, I mean, the hair, I'm sorry, the lash girl's in the back. The hair girl is out on the, out in the floor with me, pretty much. Um, the hair girl, she was like, so I get in there or whatever, setting up my stuff, bringing stuff in or whatever. And the hair girl, she just asked me, just making regular conversations. She said, you have any clients today? And I said, no. Um, and she don't even notice, but like inside I wanted to cry because it's like, bro, like I work, I, I, I've been stressed out to get this whole space together and to get everything coordinated, to get here on my first day and not even have no clients. But to be honest with you, the more I sat there, the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know, it would have been a miracle to just have one client because nobody knows you're there. Nobody, you know, I'm very new. Nobody knows I'm there. They had no girl there, no girls there before, but they, they didn't last. Nobody knows you're there. So you got to kind of like allow people to, you got to allow people to find out that you're there. You got to go out and get people as well. So as I'm sitting here, I'm like, I really want to cry. I really want to burst into tears and be like, I don't got no clients. Uh, you know, I'm starting to feel while I was sitting there, I was starting to feel doubt. I was starting to feel like, why the hell am I doing this? Am I crazy? Like, why the hell would I sign myself up, move all my stuff in? Because it's a lot of stuff that comes with being a nail tech. You're doing nails and feet move all my stuff and sign myself up invest money buying things go through all this hassle and i don't have it is no way that i'm it's 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 i'm betting on myself like i'm not even making there's no way i'm making a profit i'm not even going to make a profit as of yet and i'm really betting on myself and i'm just sitting here doubting myself and regretting like what the hell did i get myself into what did i sign myself up for but like I said, like the longer I sat there, cause I was there, I got there at 12, it's now 3.53, I'm just now leaving. So I was there for a significant amount of time. Um, it doesn't seem like that area has a lot of foot traffic, but you know what? I was thinking to myself, girl, you're not a quitter. You are not a quitter and you are a child of God and you are a praying woman. I try to pray consistently at least twice a day. I'm not always perfect, but I try to pray consistently. You are a praying woman and you are a child of God and you are an entrepreneur at heart. And not only that, living with my mother is limited. I have a time limit. So if you don't go hard right now and do this and try it and give it your a thousand percent, while you have the extra money to do so, if you don't just suck it up and go hard and go out and get clients, girl. So this is like, this is all the mental prep talk that I'm, you know, talking to myself and telling myself in my mind, cause I'm around people, I can't say it out loud. I'm telling myself like, girl, like, you got to get it together. You got to pull yourself together. Like you gonna go through highs, you gonna go through lows, but you got to keep fighting. You didn't come this far to turn around. And baby, I've come far, okay? Like, I've come far, even as far as like paying for school. Like, I've come a, a while. I've invested a lot. And now I have a shot to make something and to finally step out into this entrepreneurship. And so what? The young guy clients. A lot of people started from zero. And it's crazy because it's like, to be an entrepreneur guys i'm not even gonna lie to you you gotta be somewhat delusional you really do you gotta be one not scared to take risks 
not scared to lose money, not scared to invest in yourself, but you also have to be freaking delusional. I gotta be, and this is another part, I gotta laugh because I gotta be delusional. I gotta be delusional to think that I could just go out and rent a space and don't have no type of clientele. I was advised to not do it, but I do what I want and I'm going to try it. And if I fail or if it doesn't work out, at least I can't say I didn't try it. So now my efforts are focusing on marketing, whether that be door to door, putting people, flyers at people's doors, people's cars, um, you know, in person, talking to people, promoting on Instagram, because you can't just promote on Instagram and TikTok, and it's, it's only but so much you could do on social media. You you can do social media, you should do social media, but you should not be limited to social media. Running ads on social media is good. Post on all my platforms, post my work, post proce the process, post how I do stuff, whatever. Creating content is awesome, but that shouldn't be your only means of getting the word out about yourself. Again, the strip where the salon is located, there is no foot traffic. So I'm really gonna have to basically fish for clients. I'm gonna have to be patient. I'm gonna have to go out and I'm gonna have to get these clients because I'm in an area where there's no foot traffic it's not like it's a bunch of other stores and things around that's attracting people. This is it's located in a pretty much regular residential area. So I need to pull from the neighborhood and I need to pull from other neighborhoods um, and try to get try to drum up some business as best that I can. Um, so right now I'm focusing on my marketing efforts. I'm focused on how I can get my get the word out that I'm there. I'm giving myself a few months. I'm really, really betting on myself, to be honest with you, because, um, and this is not the same across the board for all nail techs, um, because it, I guess it depends on climate and such, but in Pennsylvania, it gets cold here. We have a winter and we have a summer. Summer is like peak for nails because everybody get their feet done, things like that. People go away on vacation, they want their feet done, they want their nails done, wedding season, prom season, things like that. Mother's Day, that kicks it off, um and then into the summer and stuff like that. But we are at the end of the summer. A lot of places are slowing down. You are blessed if your place is still busy. The salon where I work at as employee, as an, as an employee, we're actually picking up business, but it's because of the area. There's an area, there's a lot of school kids around there and um, people coming back to school, college campuses around there, different little things like that. So they're actually picking up business. Um, whereas in other places, typically it slows down at the end of August, September, October, holiday time, it pick up some Christmas time. People want to get their nose done and things like that. And then January, oh my gosh, January is just dry. February is dry. So for me to start this right now at this time, at the end of summer, like I'm really, really, really taking a risk and really betting on myself. I just want y'all to understand like the magnitude of it. So I'm giving myself a couple months to give myself some motion, you know, to drum up some business, to really give myself some motion. Um, not saying that I plan to be booked and busy, but you know what? I'm a praying woman and I'm going to pray for it and I'm going to ask God that I can become booked and busy um, on my weekends so that I can open up more time and dedicate into this salon space um but i'm just looking to get to a point where i can get some cash flow i can get some i can start seeing some profit that can help pay for the space that's kind of like where i'm at right now even though i don't want to limit my mindset to that but that's kind of where i'm at right now because you know i realized you know i'm paying for this out of pocket until it starts to pay for itself so So that's kind of where I'm at with it, guys. I just wanted to come on here and just share my raw emotions and feelings on my first day 
um this is my first weekend officially open tomorrow i'm going to be um open and my mom she's actually going to come out and get her feet done and i think i'm going to do her hands as well so that makes me feel good that she's going to come out and support me as she should support her baby um that actually really makes me feel good and uh yeah that's pretty much that's a wrap for today i doubt that i pick my camera up today because i'm not really doing anything else worthy for this vlog um i'll probably edit some content today bro i really need to edit some content i got like i got like I feel like I got like five or six videos now. Like I have been so lacking on the edit content stuff. Like it's like September and I still got stuff from like, from like July, like June. Like, no, I got stuff from May, May that I didn't put. I got a video from May and then I got other content um, from the summer that I have not put out yet. And it's all on my laptop. So yeah. I gotta go and I gotta edit that and get that together and get these videos out to you guys because by the time you guys see all these videos I'm already I probably I don't even know it it'll be like like time frame wise like I'll probably be right now is August 31st by the time you guys all see these videos it'll probably be probably be like September I don't even know I just gotta get the content out all right guys so I will talk to you guys later bye